Hi everybody, welcome to Higher Ideas. Uh, the question today is what time is it? And uh, no, I don't mean the time on your watch. Don't bother looking. What I mean is this. If you think back on decades, recent decades, or even uh, fairly distant in the past, you uh, know that they each have a personality of their own. They, they're each almost like separate people. That's how much they're different. The 60s, uh, drugs, hippies, great revolutions in art, uh, in creativity, a beautiful time, a time of energy, of youth. And at the same time, the establishment poising itself against it, trying to fight the explosion that was happening. The 70s come along, and laws are put in place that knock down what was uh, what was beginning to bloom there, and uh, there's a bit of a, a decline, there's a bit of a slowdown that's, that begins into the 80s, where you get... Uh, you know, uh, cocaine, and it's almost a dark, depressing time, and a, a time of confusion where uh, society doesn't seem to know where to go after what just happened to it. It's a dazed sort of time that people seem to rather not remember. It's rather unremarkable to people, probably because they'd rather not remember it. And, uh, of course, that leads you to the 90s, where things... A new direction seems to be discovered. Uh, let's head corporate, and everything starts to become corporatized, and uh, it all becomes about the go-go lifestyle. Uh, technology starts coming in. Uh, it, be it becomes a very sort of robotic, heartless time where we start to ramp up on materialism and um, just a very cold-feeling direction. And that, of course, leads us into the 2000s, which are already uh, divided into the 2000 to 2010s. One decade is already over, and that decade, we know what it's about. 9-11, the economy collapsing, it's shock, it's, uh, it's a stabbing sensation, it's, it's, uh, it's alarm, terror. I don't have to go into details about that one pretty cut and clear what that decade is. And at the same time, uh, violations of the people through laws, like corrupt laws that should not be put into place and corrupt behavior, it's, uh, it's a violation from many angles that decade. And now we come to the question, or we have arrived at the question, what time is it now? Well, let's have a look at it. In just two years, we already know what this time is about. It's about corruption. Absolute corruption. Horrible corruption. Corruption that goes so deep there's almost nothing left to corrupt. It's an apple rotten to the core. It's dark. It's not fun to think about, but we have to look at where we are if we're ever to decide where to go. It's a time where laws, unjust laws, are proliferating to protect the guilty. The corruptors are trying to build a wall between themselves and justice. That's what's happening already in just two years. It's going to be a hell of a decade. But I'm not saying this to depress you because here's the message I have. Now is the time to act. It's not a time for sitting on sidelines. That's why I'm here. I don't like doing this. I mean, I don't, I'm not natural to this. <laughs> I'm compelled to do this. I could not help myself anymore. I waited one year wanting to do this, but afraid to do it. But I'm doing it because I know where we are, and I know where I want to go. I want to go up. I don't want to keep going down. So if you want to go up, if you have anything inside you that you can contribute in a force for progress and reparation, you can't sit on it. This is not the time to sit it out. You have to get up. You have to let it out. Because there's a lot of energy right now pushing things down. You have to put out some energy to push it back up. You can't just wish it. 
you have to act. We saw pieces of this already. The Occupy movement, beautiful. Revolutions throughout the world, some successful, some failed, some incomplete, some still in progress. There have been attempts already, and that was beautiful. But we need more people. Everyone needs to put their hands on history and push together towards the better future. We can't just keep watching. We're used to watching, because things were going well for a while. For a good while, things were going pretty damn well. We forgot that when things go wrong, really wrong, we're the ones who have to fix it. We can't look to others to fix it, even as individuals. Everyone has to get up and start working to fix things. So it's a call to action to you right now listening. And I hope many people that aren't listening will be shown this, or at least someone else will take this message and tell it to them. You have to wake up. It's a term you hear a lot from frustrated activists. Wake up, people. That's what they mean. This is the time to start interacting with history, because history is still happening. History isn't over. History is happening. We're standing on one of the biggest moments in history. A, mo a moment where things are heading to a very dark place. It's on the edge of the knife. It's so easy to tip into the darkness right now. And we can watch the chair wobble and wonder if it's going to fall over, or we could put our hands on the legs and hold it still, and maybe move it somewhere better, with a better view, <laughs> maybe with a little more light, maybe with, with some fresher air. But here's the good news. It's not all bad. The good news is, just as easily as it could be shoved into the darkness, it could be shoved into the light. That's how unstable it is. And that's a big secret. A lot of people don't seem to realize that yet. Anyone could be the one that changes everything right now. Julian Assange, we've seen one man with an organization who did something that has changed everything, has changed the world. The world can be changed right now so easily if just a good amount of people decide I'm going to get up and I'm going to help change the world because I know that I've got something in me that could do a little difference out there. And what I'm telling you is that little bit of difference you do could be the bit that tips it. At least right now, that doesn't always happen. There are times in history where you can't do that, no matter how hard you push. Things are stable. Things don't want to move in other times. But in these times, things are ready. I hope I've given you something to think about. I hope you'll really consider this, because I'm doing it. So that you'll do it. I'm not doing it so you'll sit there and listen to me, and just keep doing nothing because someone else is doing something. No, I'm doing it, and I'm going to keep reminding you that you've got to do it too. And you've got to tell the next guy on to do it. And tell that guy to tell the next guy. we got to start doing something here. Which way do you want to go? It's up to you. You can literally decide and make it happen. So the next time I ask you, what time is it? The answer is, it's time to act.